What is up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watts, and in this video, we've got some new information regarding Star Wars Ahsoka, the new Ahsoka show, and it is still um, set to air on Disney Plus at some point this year in 2023. Um, it hasn't. It hasn't. I don't think a release date has been confirmed about Ahsoka yet, but, um, as far as we know, it should, it should start premiering on Disney Plus <coughs> at some point this year. So it says, one of Dave Filoni's inspiration of Ahsoka, Tano, was a character named San from Studio. Um, the the characters the character sandrise sandrides a wolf the character the character sandrides a wolf as we seen over as we seen over the years Dave Filoni loves those fancy dogs and putting a putting Ahsoka on one the the tradition continues. So um we're going to see we're going to see the ones that we saw on Rebels pretty much it looks like um and Jason Ward like I said is the most reliable person when it comes to Star Wars news updates um cuz he's so if you guys follow Jace, Jason Ward on starwars.net um Star War, he's pretty accurate a lot of the times and he has been pretty reliable ever since The Force Awakens came out, as far as I know. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the leaks have been pretty accurate, especially like the Rise of Skywalker leaks. I mean, his leaks about the Rise of Skywalker was pretty accurate, but we're definitely going to see those same wolves from Star Wars Rebels into um, Ahsoka, which I'm really excited to see. Um... See what else? In 2022, Filoni was able to bring Ahsoka Tano to her own live-action television series to be released in 2023. With the long history of Filoni and Wolves uh, with Star Wars, it would seem to be given that Filoni would bring the Wolves into Star Wars Ahsoka in live-action. MSW sources have confirmed he did. So, yeah, I cannot wait to see this in live action. I know we saw this in Rebels. I haven't watched Rebels in a couple of years, but I know I saw a lot of the episodes in Star Wars Rebels. I think I've... I don't know if I've finished watching all of Star Wars Rebels, but I've I've watched a lot of Reb I've watched a lot of Rebels in the Clone Wars. So, yeah, I mean, I'm mainly focused on the Star Wars movies. Although I do watch now. Now that the Bad Batches came out, I made more. I've been watching more and more of the Star Wars shows, including animation like Bad Batch, and and I'm starting to watch. I mean, I've been watching a lot of the episodes of the Clone Wars, a lot of the episodes of. Star Wars Rebels, and it's actually pretty, it's pretty good, pretty interesting. You learn a lot more through those. You learn a lot more in the Clone Wars about the Clone Army and all that, and the Clone Wars, which is really cool. The Clone Wars does take place, for some of you who don't watch the Clone Wars, um, the Clone Wars does take place in between the events of Episode 2 and 3. Um, for those of you who don't watch the Clone Wars. And then uh, Star Wars Rebels takes place in between the events of Episode 3 and 4. Um, so, and then we got the Bad Batch in between 3 and 4 as well. Um, we also got Obi-Wan Kenobi and Andorra also in between 3 and 4. And I've watched all of those. So, and now... And now that now that more and more Star Wars shows have been coming out, I've been starting to watch all of the Star Wars shows 
which is really cool. I've been starting to go back. I've been going back and rewatching the Clone Wars lately, but yeah, I haven't. It's been a while since I've watched a lot of the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, but it would be really cool to see these in live action. So, but that's all I have for this video. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video.